hi, welcome to LittleBits HQ. My name is Ethan, and I'm here to introduce you to the LittleBits Extended Kit. LittleBits is an open source library of electronic modules that snap together with magnets for prototyping, learning, and fun. The LittleBits Extended Kit is one of the best ways to experience LittleBits. It's got everything that you need in there to make your own interactive creations, including two power bits. And we're going to show you how to use all 14 of the included bits and then show you some tips and projects for after you've mastered the basics. First, you'll see this attractive insert, which has basic information about how to use little bits on one side, and on the other has plans for some awesome projects. More about those later. You'll notice right away that little bits come in different colors. The colors tell you what a certain bit does. Also, watch how the magnets help them snap together. They won't let you snap them the wrong way. Here's the USB power bit. It's blue like all power bits, and you can use it to power any of the other modules. The extended kit also includes a power bit for use with a battery. The other bit that you see here is a long LED. It's an output bit, one that lights up, makes a sound, or moves, so it's green. There are two in the kit. Here's a toggle switch bit. It's a pink input bit. These are controls or sensors that you can use to trigger the actions of the green bits. The motion sensor is another great pink bit. It's a very sensitive person detector. It sends an on signal whenever a moving person is nearby. The fan is a very cool bit. Get it? Here's another neat input bit, the light sensor. This one can send a signal when it detects a certain amount of light or when it gets dark. This is the slide dimmer bit. This is a pink bit that gives you control of how much signal you're sending. It's not just on or off. Here's another pink bit, the roller switch. Unlike the toggle, it's an instantaneous switch, so it stops working when you release it but it has a setting to invert its operation, making it work like the light switch in your fridge. Here's another green bit, the buzzer. This one is pretty self-explanatory. Here's the DC motor bit, one of the real stars of the extended kit. You can make cars, windmills, and more with using this as your source of motion. Next up, a whole different kind of bit. The orange bits take their name from this wire bit. This one lets you put a little distance between your bits. There are two in the extended kit. The branch bit is also orange. It lets you connect up to three bits to the output of just one. It really opens up some opportunities. OK, so that's what you find in the little bits extended kit. Now we're going to take a look at some other materials and how you can use them with the bits to make even more exciting things happen. Let's start with this fan bit. This is one of the real stars of the extended kit. It's not just for cooling you down. You can also use it to propel light objects, eh? or you can attach something to the front of it and make it spin really fast to hypnotize your dog. You've also got a couple of long LEDs in here, which are cool for lighting up things and you can stick them inside objects, like these foam craft balls. This is a, a stock move that we like to do a lot. But maybe best of all is the DC motor. This guy really makes your creations come to life, especially when you stick things to it. We like to use propellers, straws, uh, bananas, starbursts, <laughs> carrots, <laughs> or or sometimes we do uh, laser cut these wheels, which are really cool. Check out this art bot and how this makes it really awesome. OK, so now that you're an expert, let's see the sort of things you can build with the Little Bits Extended Kit. In addition to the projects included in the pamphlet, We've seen it be the basis for some of our favorite community projects. We've seen these fantastic art bots, just like this one, and better. And we've seen people make awesome mobiles with it. 
People love the DC motor because you can make a lot of things happen with it, including big things like we see here in the Art Handlers project. Pretty cool, right? So that's about it for today. Thank you for watching. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at LittleBits. Check us out on Facebook. And if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to email us at info@littlebits.cc. Thanks again, and we'll see you a little bit down the road.